There are three ways to do retrieval augmented generation or RAG on the Google Cloud platform. The first and also the easiest way is by using Vertex AI search and conversation if you specifically need search web summarization or a chatbot to talk with your data. Vertex AI search simplifies RAG a lot by taking care of essentially all of the components of a RAG system once you collect your data, from parsing of unstructured data sources that includes, by the way, PDFs, docs, HTML files, PowerPoint files, and a few other formats, to chunking, to embeddings and indexing and storage of embeddings in vector databases, to actually implementing the logic of a search application with summarization and answer generation by Gemini, and serving all of that. Vertex AI Search even gives you a vanilla UI you can embed on a website. You can find the JavaScript widget in the integrations menu in the console. So you just need to copy that and paste it into a website. I have previously done a video on creating a search app. So check that out if you're interested in seeing how it's done. Vertex AI Conversation is very similar and essentially part of the same product. But instead of creating a search application, it helps you create a chatbot. And there are capabilities here as well to do more than just a RAG application by, for example, letting you add transactions and API calls. I have also done a video on creating a chat app if you're interested. I included the link in the description. Now, the second option for doing RAG on Google Cloud is Vertex AI Grounding. This is a more generic RAG product. Here, the idea is to simply give you a way to ground the responses of a model in your private data. You first need to create a data store in Vertex AI Search Note, you don't need to actually create a search app, only the data store. And then in the UI, you can specify the path to your data store. And of course, you can also specify it in the API or using any of the SDKs as well. Finally, the third way is to do it yourself by stitching together the building blocks of RAG, such as embeddings and vector databases, all of which there are managed services on Google Cloud for. So here's an example of a simple RAG architecture. On the data ingestion side, you can use, for example, Document AI to parse your documents, or you could use, for example, LangChain parsers or something else. Then you can use the Embeddings API, which, by the way, on Google Cloud, you can also fine tune the Embeddings API to adapt it to your data. And then you have a bunch of choices of vector databases, Allow DB and Cloud SQL or Postgres databases that support the PG Vector extension. Vector Search is a purpose built vector database, formerly known as Matching Engine, and both BigQuery and Feature Store now support vectors as well. If you want to work with other vector databases like Pinecone or Weaviate, you'll find deployable solutions on the Google Cloud Marketplace for those as well. On the query and answer generation side, you can once again use the embeddings API and then, of course, one of the text foundation models, such as Gemini, to generate the response. And by the way, I should mention that both LangChain and Lama Index have Google Cloud Vertex AI components, so you should be able to use these frameworks to build a RAG system using Google Cloud services. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.